Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I am bringing you my half marathon training update number one. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see this and a bunch of you guys said yes. So I am going to be filming weekly updates, um, just kind of talking about my marathon training, how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, um, et cetera, until I complete my race, which is at the end of April. I am sharing this in hopes that somebody else who is wanting to run a half marathon um, gets the courage to do so, or maybe um, you're a runner and we're experiencing some of the same things. I'm also doing this so that I can look back on it it, um, once the race is over with because I think running races is similar to childbirth in that you forget after a while what it was like and so I think it'll be cool for me to be able to come back and look back on it so every week I'm gonna go through the same questions and then I'll share anything else that I've kind of noticed or thought about throughout the week so this is going to be marathon training weeks one through three. So first you should know that I am doing a 10 week um, half marathon training program. Uh, I am running 13.1 or whatever miles a half marathon is. The race I am doing is a downhill race. Now everyone who's not a runner goes, oh, downhill, awesome, that's not as hard. Um, yeah, it feels a little bit easier on your lungs, but running downhill is more difficult on your body, um, and you really have to maintain a good posture and um, a good turnover of your feet to not be like impactfully smacking on the ground. Um, and also momentum can push your speed so much that you can gas yourself out, so you have to know how to control your pace. and so. Running downhill is not as easy as it sounds, um, but I am running a downhill race. Like I said, it is 13.1 miles, um, and I only started training for the marathon three weeks ago, and here's why. Because I always maintain a certain level of cardiovascular fitness. Now, um, I probably could just run it tomorrow if I had to, um, but obviously it would hurt my joints. I wouldn't get as good of a time. And so there is training to be done. Um, but I would say safely that I could have just done it the, the day I started training, but I'm still training for it. And there's good reasons why. Um, so I, when I first started my training program 10 weeks ago, I decided to download the Nike Run Club app. And I have notes down below. That's what I'm looking down at. Um, I downloaded it because I wanted something that was going to track my runs and also calculate for me workouts. So there's other running apps called like Runtastic and Track My Run and stuff like that. But the Nike Run Club actually will determine how fast you should be going like on your recovery runs based on how fast you're going on your faster runs and it gives me a plan that I can scroll through and so I just like plans and stuff like that um and I wanted someone else to come up with a plan for me for running because as a personal trainer, I obviously know how to exercise and I could totally just do my own thing and be fine, but I thought it would be fun to utilize someone else's plan. So I downloaded the Nike Run Club app and I really like it and encourage you guys to use it if you're wanting to train for a race. And you also enter an amount, how far of an amount of time until your race is. So mine is a 10 week plan plan because that's how many weeks I have, but, or had, um, but yours could be much longer. Um, so now the questions I'm going to answer every single week are going to be, let's see, I have them written down, how far I went this week, how uh, I felt, what week of marathon training I'm in, and then any other sidebar information. Okay, so um, I'm going to back this up because like I said, I'm in my third, I, I will finish my third week tomorrow. Um, so, but you guys, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this video. So 
we'll just call this, I'm finishing week three, okay? Um, so my first, uh, in February, so that's when I started. I did a total of six runs. They were all done outside. I will get more into that in a second. Um, my average pace was um, 10, 14. So 10, mile, 10 minutes and 14 seconds per mile. Um, those runs were short and it wasn't a lot of distance and I felt okay other than the fact that this was the first time I had run outside in a long time time. Now, I just am going to go ahead and be really honest with you guys. On a treadmill, I can run three, four, five miles at like a 7.30, 7.45, eight minute mile pace. Pretty fast, in my opinion, for a girl and for someone who's not built like a, a runner. Uh, I went outside and I was like, oh my gosh, I ran so much slower. So um, definitely important to train outside when you're training for a marathon. So um, in March, so this is what, the second or third week of March, I have done a total of 10 runs. Uh, I have run 20 miles in March total. Um, and my pace is now outside because I've done all of these runs outside as well. Uh, nine minute and 51 second average pace. So my pace is improving, which is awesome. I'm running outside, which has been fun with the weather, really getting nice. And I have completed nine of the 29 runs I will do before race day. So I'm about a third of the way done with training. Um, that makes sense. Week three, 10 weeks, one third. Um, so it has been really fun. The Nike Run Club app is awesome. It gives me different workouts to do. So there are recovery runs, which I never did when I was training the first time. And it's so weird to feel like when you're running a recovery run, what that actually feels like. It is really hard to run a recovery run. It is almost more difficult for me to run a recovery run than it is to run the actual like long run that week. Um, so the recovery runs have been interesting, but the ones that I love the most are the speed training ones. So I had a really fun one where I did five 400 meter sprints with um, two minutes in between um, each one, and that was a fun workout. And so I really like how they uh, give you speed training and distance and all of this. So this has been really cool. The other thing that I want to mention about this running app is that you can set how many days a week you want to run or how many days you have to train. So I selected three days because I knew ahead of time that three days was probably going to be good because when you're marathon training, you need one day for a long run, one day for a speed type run where you're working on your speed and one day for like a moderate recovery run. However, this past week I did run five days and, um, that was kind of difficult. My knees on the side of my knees are kind of a little bit sore. But other than that, I felt really good. So what I'm doing in conjunction with my running are some at-home workouts. I'm currently doing um, a variety of the hammer and chisel workouts, which are a beach body strength training workout. Um, I am not lifting weights at the gym right now other than um, in my class that I teach. Um, because I can't lift heavy and break my muscles down so hard and then uh, run and break them down further. Like my body can just only do so much and I don't want to injure myself because of overtraining. So for the next um, 10 weeks, I am really focused on just embracing the running journey, which is hard for me because I do love my weightlifting, but I'm getting a little bit of it at home. It's just higher reps and lighter weight. Um, but I know that that's what is good for for my body at this time. So in that, I kind of covered how I'm feeling. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Running right now, what is coming to mind is that it is just a mental struggle for me. It is not so much of a physical struggle as it is just like mentally, sometimes I just don't want to run. And it's really like, I do it because I know I need to, but once I'm going about five minutes, six minutes and my side cramp goes away because I always get a side cramp like right away and then it goes away. Um, 
I just sometimes it's hard for me, but I'm proud of myself um, for just persevering on through that. Um, and I'm excited to see over the next couple of weeks what these workouts that the Nike Run Club app gives me um, does to my time. Because like I said, I'm not a running coach, I'm a personal trainer. And so um, figuring out how to make myself faster and all these things, like I could do some programming for myself, but it's kind of nice not to have to. Um, so I am running in my ASICs and I am loving them. They are finally broken in. I do not like breaking in running shoes and these ones are finally broken in. So they are feeling really good. And the Nike Run Club app also tracks how many miles you put on your shoes. So you know when it's time to get new ones. So that is kind of my update um, for my marathon training weeks one through three. Um, it's going well I'm increasing my mileage um, and I'm feeling good I've got no injuries no aches or pains other than just normal ones where I know I need to stretch my hip flexors especially um, but I'm just feeling really good and excited about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're running a marathon I would love to know how you're doing and what you're doing in your training program um, and like I said I will do these videos weekly or bi-weekly. I'm not really sure yet. The weekly ones might be too short, so I might lump two weeks together. But just to keep you guys updated on how my training is going and um, maybe inspire some of you out there to run a marathon as well. So I will see you guys in my next update. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah.